Come on, who's not vibing after this? This is great. Today's what, Thursday? Yeah, Thursday, I ease you into the week. So, but by Thursday, we're partying now, okay? Yeah. Look at that, it's a guitar solo. No one does that. Night by night. Hi, everybody. Uh, this is Royce. I am delirious. I did so much shows yesterday. So many? So many shows yesterday. So today we're just going to have a fun day wave. We're going to relax. We're going to kick back. And uh, there's a girl here. A girl. There's a girl here. Ew. 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 I thought I smelled something. Uh, great. Now we're going to get bears. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Jess. Thanks for being here. Thanks uh, for having me. Well, yeah, we're going to have we're gonna, we're gonna fun today. We have to finish the Scamfish uh, episode from yesterday. I know I am very aware that we had to stop halfway through it because we were hunting gypsies. We were hunting gypsies yesterday. So many gypos. Yeah. Man, gypo sounds even, even more racist. I'm going to use that one. Gypo. <laughs> <laughs> do you do you need a license to hunt them, or is it just a free for all? Listen, if you don't get caught, you don't need a license to hunt anything. That's true. <laughs> so, That's I mean, true. you can do whatever you want, honestly, until you get caught. Uh, yeah, man, these gypsy scams have we're, we're on it. They're fucking crazy. They're they're fucking nuts. Um, and they're gonna get worse and worse because the border is 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 wide open. So who cares? It's fine. You know, I'm be, I've been thinking of becoming a gypsy. I've been thinking about it. I really have. You're and brown enough. I'm brown enough, right? And I could fake play an instrument. Do I have an instrument? Okay, give me your best gypsy accent. <laughs> I'll do that outside of a Ross <laughs> with a cup. And it says, my gypsy daughter needs a needs a surgery. And I'll have a cup at the end of this and go... Perfect. And people ask you which gypsy daughter, because don't they have like twenty at a time? They have twenty, and they're all like incestual too. Like they're all related. It's such a weird place. These not people... only are they're the daughter, there's also the niece, the the granddaughter. And, and just by... them to get on the heel train. Is that what you're trying to do? By the way, I've talked to gypsies. They they don't really actually care to being called gypsies. That that's a made up thing that that one bitch is talking about. Gypsies like being called gypsies. They take it as pride. It's like, you know, the way black like people nigs, call like their... being called nigs. See know? what I mean? Great example. <laughs> you know? They love it. Yeah. They 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 like it. I think moon crickets might I go back to the old school ones. Because no one knows them anymore. They're not even ready. How did Moon Cricket come about? What is that? Yeah, Porch niggers. What are you gonna do? Don't it's monkey. Come on, man. I do like being called a gook. I don't know why. <laughs> Just a, little, just a little shrimp going. But do you see what I mean with Frozen? Like, he does that kind of stuff. He likes being called a gook, but then if I call him one, he's going to be like, oh, you're so mean to me. But he enjoys it. Well, try it, try it. I'm not doing it now, Zipperhead. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'll do every every other one, Nip. Um, it's because I said I liked it. Yeah, I don't want you to have joy. I think that's the thing. Oh yeah, thank you. So we did, we were on slightly uh, offensive last night with Elijah Shaver. It was a lot of fun. We had a good time. I had a good time. Jewish Moving on up for the boys. Jewish tunnels are very fun to talk about, and it was all because of making fun of Rob Smith that we got the invite, and we never even talked <laughs> about Rob Smith. Anyway, I talked a lot yesterday, so give me a goddamn break. All right. Um. You did crack him up a lot. Yeah, Frozen, I'm hilarious. <laughs> Everybody knows that, okay? Everybody knows that. That's why when we look at my penis, they always laugh because I'm funny, right? Oh, you too? See? <laughs> he, Frozen's also a stand-up. That's just a racial trait. <laughs> it is. It is like spitting. Chinese people spit everywhere, too. <laughs> you guys are fucking gross, Frozen. <laughs> okay. Why do you guys spit on subways? What's that about? 
we gotta we gotta clear our throats before we can uh you know no no asian, people, all asian English. people i'll watch like vi different videos and shit about people that go to china and stuff and they literally have signs that say no spitting because you fucking disgusting chinese people spit everywhere why you know why they, they they spit a lot right why it's because they're all chain smokers well yeah but i mean mersh mersh fucking chain smokes and he doesn't spit everywhere even the children everybody knows that mersh swallows Even the children everyone knows that mersh swallows hashtag mersh swallows guys <laughs> tell him i'm on his side tag at ghost of mersh <laughs> and say roy says hashtag merch swallows i'm gonna kill you he'll know what it means no you heard me i'm defending him <laughs> hashtag merch swallows there's a shirt here like a cat on one shoulder and a swallow on the other yeah merch swallows yes oh my god that's actually pretty good <sighs> It's somebody taper. <laughs> Mersh's stupid face with a bunch of birds. No, swallow. have Mersh working at a bird shop that sells birds and just call it Mersh Swallows. <laughs> that will be swallows? Mersh's Swallows. Look, he, he needs more. He needs more shirts for his night wave. That'd be you can have it. I don't even want it. It'll be for yeah. night wave. Mersh's swallows they're all roosters yeah they're, that's oh my god <laughs> no. nailed it mine will be royce's cocks merce will be merce's swallows we have bird stores <laughs> <laughs> well what you do is you do the front back so no matter yeah. what way they buy it so they can just switch it i like that i really like that <laughs> um what were we talking about? I completely for oh, uh, I'm gonna read this donation. Easy sloth had a Japanese exchange student friend in college, taught him all the fun words, taught him honky, and he would yell it at me across the campus. Good times, yeah. <coughs> <laughs> I call frozen. I call frozen some Spanish like Gaya de pendejo and uh, chino fail, which is ugly Chinaman. I've been teaching him a what. You also do that one th that one rhyme that I really don't like the the chino chino japonese no <laughs> <laughs> I remember that <laughs> chino let me if I find it that's fucked up man <sighs> what was what is that how did that how does that one go chino chino japonese no me something oh shit. perfect something about shit <laughs> I got it This is hilarious. I think we did a song. You did a song? Yeah, hold on. It. I thought it was just a rhyme. Sounds very Mexican. Mexican deathcore? What is this? <laughs> this is really good. I don't hate this. I'm being serious. It sounds awesome. I love it. That's it. Chinese, Chinese, Japanese. Frozen, if you become a wrestler and you do not use this music, you're an idiot. <laughs> this is real. Like, this is fucking a good. This is a good song. It is really good. It's what? like Very good. Mexican flogging Molly. Yes, exactly. Sh <laughs> shipping off to Tijuana. Dropkick Rodriguez's. <laughs> it's like the Dropkick Murphy? Yeah. This fucking rocks! Chino Chino Japones, come caca no me me. Chino Chino Japones. That means Chinese, Chinese, Japanese, eat shit. shit. Not for me. Yeah. Get fucked up, man. Yeah, there is one. Real big pescado. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, man, I bet these shows are bumping. Bro. I bet they're so fun. You know, I got to see this band. This band has... I got to see what they look like. Okay, let's see. And then let's check their channel. Videos. Popular. Dude, He's wearing is... a cowboy hat. Yes, rolling. Oh shit! Whoa! It's like Ray Mysterio without the mask. Okay, this fucking rules. Yeah. I'd watch it. Oh shit! This is awesome. They have a pinata. <laughs> Subscribe. They're from San Antonio. That makes sense. Next time you go to Texas, you know what show you're going to go watch. watch. I will go watch these guys live in San Antonio. Look at that! Look at that jump with the fucking with the organ. How cool is that? Yeah. Never really saw a Mexican use an accordion before. Mexicans? You, what do you mean? You're talking about Mexicans use accordions all the time. Have you never seen a fucking mariachi band? Yeah, yeah they're I guess. Super Holy popular. shit! Come like, on. That's all, that's all their little clown music is. Ninety percent of the time. First off, it's not clown music, okay? The fuck it ain't. It's beaner. Sounds music. like I'm at a fucking circus. <laughs> they, have a, they have a song called DUI. It's the genre Oompa Loompa, actually. So. No, it's <laughs> Oompa Oompa, not Oompa Loompa. Oompa Oompa. Yeah, because it goes Oompa 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 I learned Oompa, Spanish Oompa, Oompa. just to go to their shows. Yeah. It's, apparently, see, look, Frozen. Oh, this is this is them pretending they're mariachi band. Disculpas, no sabemos nada de los tigres del norte. Uh, Ramona Ayala, Trago Samargos Licor. Uh, tampoco, amigo. Pues que saben, Vicente Fernández, Texas Tornados. No, pero sabemos a uh, Piñata Protest. ¿Y qué es, quién, ¿Quién es Piñata Protest? Pues ahí vamos a entrarle. Let's okay, hear him. Let's hear it. Saliendo de la cantina. This song is called DUI. manejando. Let's go! Ay, 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 ay. Piñata Protest is the name of the band, guys. So good. Wait, what shirt was he wearing? It's it's a Trump shirt. Yeah, but what, what kind? Pendejo. Oh, if Trump was just wow, he's so edgy. This is what happens when you get second generation Mexicans. <laughs> I love the punk Mexicans. Punk Mexicans <laughs> is the new fucking genre of Mexicans. Punk-kins. I like it. They're taking all our jobs, guys. These Mexicans are coming here, and they're taking mm. American ska jobs. Do you feel good about yourselves now? They well, took they, our music. They yeah. do it for cheaper, so. <laughs> That's a good point. Look, nobody <laughs> wants to play the the organ. Americans don't. Maybe Weird Al's the last one, and he's Jewish. I know Yankovic. Can you believe it? <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, but it's not like the curly hair was a dead giveaway, right? Or making it in the music industry. Um, the Jewish tunnels thing is the funniest thing that's going on right now, and I don't know how else to describe how hilarious the goddamn memes have been. Did you see the one <laughs> where they did the Minecraft character as a rabbi? <laughs> Yes, I saw that one. Hold on, let me find that one. That one was with his little gold pickaxe. Yeah. I love the guy on Twitter that's losing his mind that has legit tweets from like earlier last yes. year. Yes. 
of him talking about. I keep hearing Yiddish. Well, yes. it makes sense now, doesn't it? Uh, Minecraft rabbi? Is that how I find it, I'm assuming? Yeah, all those keyword searches are going to be a bitch now because you can't, you know, they, they took out all the words that would be descriptive and helpful, but you can't use them anymore. No. The funny ones, you mean? The useful ones, yes. The ones that make me laugh. So now you got to save tweets because, like, honestly, it's, I don't know what's up with X or Twitter. The search bar sucks now. Man, I can, I can give you a few reasons why. <laughs> yeah. The Jews. Yeah, it's the Jews. <laughs> I know, guys. It's the Jews lately. It's been look, Jews. You don't want us to make lately. funny. Well, always. But look, you don't want us to make fun of you. And I said this yesterday on the show, but Mer should fucking kill me. He was right. He goes, after that Jewish guy was coming out of that tunnel, you know, someone at the ADL was throwing their laptop across the goddamn room. <laughs> <laughs> like, how the fuck am I supposed to cover this one up? And then the crib mattress came out all dirty and bloody, and they're yeah. like. Oh, I'll tell you, it's what I tweeted out yesterday. I go, oh, I'm sorry. Guys, listen. If you think the people that put their sins in the chicken and then kill the chicken to absolve themselves for their sins are doing anything weird in their in their tunnels under the synagogue, you're completely wrong. You're crazy. Why would you I smell Virgie? drugs and resentment. Oh, hi, Virgie. Well, oh, hey, what's up? Is that yeah, like that's... sex? Is that like sex and candy? <laughs> I, I smell, smell drugs and resentment. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> exactly. We <laughs> hate black guys and Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Minecraft Jews are hilarious. Uh, yeah, it's pretty. It's it's great. It's been the most fun that I've ever had. So so last night I tuned into you got you boys on Elijah Schaefer. Yeah, and I tuned in right at the beginning. Oh, and uh, you and fucking Mersh looked like you were waiting in a dentist's office. It was the funniest <laughs> shit I've ever seen. And then the first bass stroke got dropped, and it was on. And it did was... you say <laughs> that w there were storing foreskins in their cheeks like hamsters? That shit was hilarious. That was dude. the best one. Every as soon as like the fucking dam broke, everybody was just dropping based ass jokes and you guys cuffed me. Yo, out that pastor good. who was on was fucking hilarious. That was a pastor? <laughs> it was a yeah, pastor. He was a and Baptist he was, pastor. He knew by, dude, and he was fucking crushing. He was hilarious. Oh yeah, he was he was fucking killing when it. He was dude. like when he goes, Look, I know I can't complain of little hats come, keep coming up in the toilet when I'm using it. I know I can't complain. But like, <laughs> <laughs> He had another line that murdered me before yeah. I started my shit. But yeah. yeah, dude, it was so you and Merce were just like, uh, Bible quotes, huh? <laughs> and then after that, he was just going fucking ham. And I was like, all right, let's go. We had a lot of fun, man. Honestly, that shit was funny, though. It was just it was just seeing you guys wait to get comfy <laughs> to, to mm -hmm. see where the line was was fucking hilarious. Search <laughs> slightly offensive on Rumble. On Rumble. It'll come up. Find You'll find it. us. Yeah. Yeah, man, it was it was it was fucking hilarious. <laughs> it was fucking it was oh, fun. yeah, it was a great show, dude. I was actually like I'd already set up my shit and I was kind of disappointed <laughs> that I did. <laughs> I, I was telling them before the show was like I went, I did it right right after the gym. So I still like pre work out of my system and then I smoked the weed really quick and I ran in here. I'm like, I'm fucked up. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck. God damn. Anyway, what were we doing? I don't know. Some Jew shit, probably. Everybody uh, else is. Sewer rats. Oh, sewer rats. That's right. That's right. Oh. So Jew shit. Well, that's what I said. Jewish shit. <laughs> uh, El Gran Caudillo says, I think Roy should play this at the end of the show. Well, I mean, I think you should donate more than $2 if you want me to play something. Uh, um, <laughs> look at how much Gates gives, and that's your starting point. I'm not trying to be cheap, but I'm trying to be cheap. Uh, this is... <laughs> you all got to have standards. Yeah, someone has to around this. You're just in place. the Jewish spirit. That's right. The Jewish spirit, which is a demon. <laughs> <laughs> which Check is Sholink's Moloch. <laughs> Check Sholink's, uh Blinn found it for us. All right, let's take a look. Let's You're trying to find this extensively earlier. Oh, shit. 
You yeah, know, please don't let don't let my show keep you up, Perchy. Please. No, I'm sorry. I I'm trying to fuck it. He went late last night. Yeah. Yeah. He had a late night. Uh, I did three shows yesterday. I don't see anyone crying for me. Yeah. Well, I did two terrible ones. Hey, wait. One of those is ROTC. Hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> Way to cotton pick and mint, bud. <laughs> uh, I just looked at my back end and I lost followers on Rumble last night. Awesome. So I did something right. <laughs> <laughs> Gates up above. So we got tunnel diggers and election riggers. That's right. <laughs> Keep going with that rhyme. Nope. That's pretty <laughs> much where it ends. Okay. Uh, I don't want to be a real Rob Smith about this. Um, did you guys even talk about Rob Smith? Nope, on never Elijah even Shaper? got to it. <laughs> the that was the whole point he got you guys on the show, though. The Jew stuff was so funny <laughs> that we never even got to it. We, it's, we, I, when he was when he was reading it and everybody was laughing because even though we knew it was a real news story, reading the news story out loud sounds like a Daily Stormer article. You know what I mean? Um, gates off above. Uh, so we got tunneled. I read that one. Uh, obedient to y'all. Tolkien told us dwarves dwell too deep. After all, that's a good point. And all these fucking poor mole people are being called Jews now, so it sucks for them. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> what was I pulling up? Oh yeah, we have to finish this campfish. Let's finish this campfish. There we go. Um. Because the only resource that I have now is my social security check. No, no, no. It's our money, bitch. You didn't pay into shit. Your husband worked. Why do you the get social security? The only resource I have now is the American public. Oh, so fuck cool. you, bitch. <laughs> fuck, come on. <laughs> you gave $150,000 away to a black guy. That's on but you. Whoa. Her husband's dead. Yeah. And she probably used the savings. He... She did. She admitted it. Uh, she admitted it. Uh. For a Mexican that she she thinks is a Mexican? She did that for a Mexican? I know. Can yeah. you imagine what she'd do for a white guy? Hetty had Ugh. depleted all of her savings. Her bank accounts were in the negative, and all of the money she received from selling her mobile home was gone. Oh, yeah. I, she did. She had property, too, and Jess. She sold she it. She sold to pay him. This is Everything why I hit my wife preemptively, because I know she's going to do shit I'm not going to agree with when I'm not around anymore. And I just want to make sure that she knows. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's just like insurance. I tried yes. to hit Marie and she threw me through the drywall. So I'm not doing that. <laughs> you let her get so buff. That's, that's your fault. I know. Mm. It's scary in my house. No Be one better. Like no a pre-workout for a divorce. No one believes, I've, I've, no one I've believes that she hits me. She, she, you, you, you first built her up to be mean, then you built her up to be strong. <laughs> Not to me. Well, when does, when does the monster ever go after the creator? Name one movie where that's Frankenstein. Happened. Okay. There. But see, like, this is a long term thing. Like, this, before she was buff, she was violent as well. So, I know it's my fault. It's my fault. You did it. I know. He's the only woman that has holes in the drywall of her sewing room. Yeah, it's not the best. <laughs> Help Arvid, and it still wasn't enough. This is when she began to have doubts about ever meeting this man face to face. To make matters worse, she found out about another woman Arvid was speaking with online. This Arvid really discovered that Arvid. he had been texting and talking on the phone to another woman, and I got suspicious because of something that I had seen on Facebook. And so I contacted her and I asked her if she knew him, and she said, just from Facebook. I said, do you talk to him by phone? And she said, yes. I said, here, you bitch. He's my man. Okay. So I it's said, another well, old white woman. Who's also getting catfished by him, yes. Oh, my gosh. White women, do better, okay? We're the superior race. We need to do better. <laughs> we do, like... We do like 40 hours a week of shows that basically boil down to white women, please God, do better. It's not working. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> uh, right. If you would spend like 50% of the time you do listening to those murder serial podcasts, trying to be better, the world would be a better place. Left. 
Right. La left. Well, do you know him? And she said, well, we've been talking for about nine months. I said, were you two supposed to be in a relationship? And she said, yeah. Yeah, we fucking. <laughs> and I said, that's very interesting because he and I are engaged. She was Yeah, upset. when did he give you the ring? Uh... I picked up the phone and called See, him. It was a ring emoji. That's, That's oh, oh, that count. Oh. That counts now. It was around midnight. You Will you eggplant, eggplant, smiley face, water, 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 ring? Oh, cool. So now you <laughs> rate me three times. You can't just send eggplants around. You have to ask for consent before you send an eggplant, dummy. <laughs> <laughs> God damn! Informed consent, bud. Read a book. Yo, in Virginia now, if you send somebody a dick pic, it's like a four hundred dollar fine, and it goes straight to the person that you sent a dick pic to. <laughs> Thank you, January first. Well, Look at that. gentlemen, yeah. how many of you think you have a four hundred dollar penis? <laughs> <laughs> For him, I said to him, I just spoke to Noreen, and for a couple of seconds, it was dead silence, and he said. Who did you speak to? I said, I just spoke to Noreen Peterson, the woman who you're supposed to be having a relationship with, who has sent you so much money. He said, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know anyone named Noreen, but he's not in a relationship. I'm telling you, that's a gay guy's Instagram. Dude. Yeah, that is. That's a, that's, men do not do that. No, no man lays down with his hand like that with a shirt off. Not a straight guy, anyway. Relationship with her. And he blocked her from everything. Trusting him completely, heady for- That's a gay guy. I know a gay guy when I see one, because yeah. I have mirrors. Gave Arvid for everything. The two moved forward and never spoke about the woman again. But this man had even more tricks up his sleeve. He's not wearing a shirt, Drew. His, Did it his fur sleeve. Oh. Uh, and the people couldn't pay him, so they paid gold him bars. gold bars. And his gold bars are stored somewhere. Those are AI art gold bars. And he's trying to raise the money. I yeah. have a lot of gold Just... in a safe, and it's all locked in a lockbox over in the Swiss Alps. Mm -hmm. Nobody has that. gold. Nobody has much, gold. Much, 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 yeah, yeah. Much like Fort Knox, this gold isn't real. <laughs> you want to go down conspiracy theory hole? <laughs> to get the gold bars out so that they could be transported to him. He has to get the gold bars, and when he does, that's when he's going to be able to pay me back. As a result of my helping him, I wasn't able to keep up with my mortgage. And so now I'm facing possibly foreclosure. I was served with... Good. Foreclosure notice. Um Imagine busting your ass for like 40 years for a bitch, setting her up to where fucking she has no worries. She has multiple fucking rental properties that fucking just pay for her living so she can live as comfortably as possible. And then she turns around and sends all of it to a gay dude on Facebook. Yeah. Well, a black guy pretending oh. to be a gay dude on Facebook. Yeah, no, a no, black no. guy. Virgie, it gets better. She didn't meet him on Facebook. She met him on a music Trivia, trivia app. app yeah what every every everywhere on the internet is a vector for a fucking nigerian to take your grandma's money <laughs> yeah <laughs> never relax since then oh is that what that means oh uh, well means a lot of things but <laughs> 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 the implications of that phrase are very big it's about it wanting to be together wanting to come here being so sorry that um, he hasn't been able to. He I'm sorry. Asked... I'm sorry, baby girl. Hey, baby, I'm, I'm from Norway or, or Mexico. He said the Mexican accent. He was also said he was Turkish at was, one point. You no, know, he wasn't Turkish. He was stuck in Turkey. Oh, so, stuck in Turkey. Me for money. I've been stuck in a, a couple... Turkey once. It was a very awkward Thanksgiving. Oh. Mm -hmm. But they, also, they had to eat around it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> months now also Virgie, After God. another red it, flag that she never caught up caught on to he said he was a architect and then he 
he was in Turkey to lay pipes. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah, he was laying turkey pipes. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Go ahead, Frozen. In him. You done? Yes. Sorry. No. Okay, we're done with our penis jokes, too. Everything the two had been through, Hetty still wants to believe this man is being truthful about everything. And she's reached out to us to figure it all out. I want to know if he's real. <clears throat> he's no. not. He's, he's not. That's no. We solved. That. I want to know if he is who he says he is. No, I guess he's not. No, that's a gay guy. Right. I want to know if the pictures that he sends me of himself is really him and no, it's not, not. somebody it's... else. I, I want to know gay guy. if all of this has been real. I mean, he says he loves me. I love him. He's he doesn't. He wants to make a life with me. I want to know doesn't. if all that is true. I have Nothing no idea true. what you might find. I'm... I know what they're going to find. They're going to send him a few gift card. It's He's going to be from Nigeria. JJ's going to say... He's not here. JJ's going to say... say... JJ's going to say... JJ's going to say... I right, forget it. Yeah. Or, 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 Ray, man. he's an that ego. You will find he is who he says he is, which of course, if if that ever happens, then he probably would be furious at me for doing this and maybe not want to have anything to do with me ever again because of doubting him. But <laughs> is that your fear? I hope you are not <laughs> he ran. He ran. <laughs> that was rad. that was even funnier. <laughs> I did get a drink. Damn, it was even funnier. It was even funny that it was so delayed. And of course, that's why I sent him all that money to help him because I'm hoping that everything he said is true. If if it isn't him. I'm going to be devastated. I mean, that's the truth. What I is this Disney fucking melancholy many, many, track? Many times <laughs> that's the title of it. Royalty free Disney melancholy track. And <laughs> I so want him to be real. He has told me so many times that he he wants to be here to let my friends and and my uh, church members. She's just hoping that my this children. fairy tale is real. But it's not. It never not. is. No. It's going to be some guy named Otumpe. Otumpe. Um, he wants to let everybody know that he is who he says he click, is. Click, click, Jerry. So didn't we see this yesterday? We saw half of it yesterday. We're picking up where we left off. Pay attention. These people don't pay attention. And that he's not they a don't. scammer. And that's what I'm praying for. Up until this point, Hetty had sent... So, like, not for world peace or anything, right? Okay. Yeah, no, fuck Over that. That involves other people, dollars. not me. And she was still contemplating sending more to help him get his gold bars. We dug into all of the information to help put this whole thing to rest. Hetty was able to provide us with a phone number she used to communicate with Arvid, emails, and the website from the courier service that it's were gonna come back as the them saying bars, it's a void and number. several it's... photos of who he claimed to be. We began to research to find answers. We were... I don't know if I could ever be ready. I'm so afraid of. Stop with the dramatics. Let's go. Found that it's actually a team right. on it, and we found that it's actually a VoIP phone number. Yeah, there there, there. Okay, frozen bingo card. There's one. To what? Yeah. A VoIP phone number. I don't know what that means. VoIP phone numbers are pretty much disposable Ignore what you phone just numbers. Saw, JJ. You just download an app for free, and it allows you to talk to anyone. Oh my! I've had that number for like 19 months the appeal of those phone numbers is that you can hide your identity 19 months huh that sounds like long enough to give away all of your shit to forever information yeah you... that makes sense it's a, the right time i think that's the paper anniversary <laughs> okay. Supposed to give your wife, like you know, or your husband, the titles to everything. Yeah, it's a paper anniversary. That's why most people don't even get engaged before nineteen months. Jeez, but you I know. didn't get engaged until I had two kids. <laughs> <laughs> well, by then you're stuck. So yeah, I made that point. You're not stuck. There's always oil drums. Oh, okay, right. Jesus Christ! And God a damn, and a Bowflex there, Benoit, huh? 
My my wife just woke up to and walked past me and slowly turned around to look at me. Like I'm crazy. <laughs> um, oh boy. I think it's a Mr. and Mrs. Why would you have a voice phone number? Virgie. Yeah. Plan to kill each other at one point? After you've bought him phones. I don't know. That was the, the number that he gave me when we first met. And that's the number that continued on his new phone. It does come across like someone is trying to mask their identity in some way. Okay. We looked into the company that you were emailing that was asking yeah. for the money. Um, and we ran a few searches on their email address. Oh yeah, totallyreallogistics.com. I've been there. <laughs> and? Just like the, the phone number where we couldn't find any social media accounts linked to this and found that it was linked to other fraudulent shipping websites okay has it dawned on you yet you stupid bitch why would wow. she buy or give him money for gold bars and not just buy them herself and be like you can come get them from me oh because she's an idiot oh that's right yeah you have to remember she's a stupid idiot yeah, she's a I bird keep forgetting. brain. Yeah, she's a bird brain. <laughs> you know, I I never thought that I could be tricked like this. I did. I looked at you immediately. <laughs> knew if I saw you on the street, the first thing I would think is I could trick the shit out of that woman. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, must we do this every time? The trucker hat. Leave him alone. He's not appropriate in your Come culture, on, JJ. Leave him alone. Yeah. And also, everyone wears a plain white tee. Everyone owns one. Every fucking time. So they use fake emails fake addresses, fake contact phone numbers to create these websites. Okay. Wow. Oh. Okay. Sick inside. Oh, oh, did you see that? She just realized she's not getting her money back. Oh, yeah. Three, 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 three. Mm, <laughs> that was that was that, that was, was that oh, sigh. That's good. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see her heartbreak. <laughs> right here. Right. Oh yeah. Here. Yep. She just carried the two. Oh yeah. Oh, just right carried there. the two. <laughs> sick inside. Like I want to throw. You're gonna be sick outside when you lose your house. <laughs> oh, She'll be fine. She'll join one of those like hippie communes. There you go. And just be like the kooky old lady. Yeah, yeah. That's she, what she should do. She should make shitty also, cookies. Oh. She should know how to make good cookies by now. I don't she doesn't know she doesn't, doesn't know anything. Oh up. So we'll she'll weave Indian hair to be uh little tampons. There it is. But I fell in love with nobody. No, no, you fell in love with somebody. Oh, that's so weird. What else are you currently confused about? Um, Where am I? <laughs> Every... <laughs> what year is it? <laughs> that would be a really good, like, you know, play on it, though, yeah. to maybe get some money back, right? Yeah, or, yeah. Like, Pre you know, like, I don't know, I'm just crazy and old. Where am I? Help. And Help then me. the GoFundMe blows up for crazy old lady, and she's a TikTok sensation. Good for her. I, uh, you know what? Playing I love? World of Warcraft or some shit. I like how Jess made an alternate future for her. She's like, good for her. <laughs> she's, doing, she's, she's doing great. In here, she's doing great. <laughs> I've rejected your reality and I've substituted it with my own. You, <laughs> you can do that now. You can do that now. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. called my truth. You just tell everybody it's your truth and they can't argue with you or they're racist. Or a, to some sort of bigot. Yeah, Any yeah. type of bigot. Some, some that, bigot. <laughs> some bigot. I so what I'm good. Say so I'm gonna start every court case from now on with fucking. I I love trans women. I love trans women. By the way, fucking. All right, and I didn't murder that guy. <laughs> uh, a, 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 a frozen, it's not even worth it. Hey, frozen. Virgie said that cleanly. So if you want to cut that, it's no problem. Yeah, I love. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll be back. Don't worry, I got you. I, got you. I love trans queen. Yeah, I got. I, I, wait, what else you want? What else you want? No, no. I never, if you like it, I don't want to do it. Yeah, yeah, niggers are great people. There you go. Wow, that's that's a big one for you.
That is a he big one for me. Say, Thank you. That means so much to me. The one that I love so much thinks I'm handsome. You know, just that kind of crap. Uh, yeah, I would like to see who the real person is. Okay, no, but you don't. But it can't be at nighttime because you won't see him unless he's smiling. <laughs> <laughs> we ran searches on the images you sent us and we actually found gay guy gay guy gay guy tons of fake profiles using those same images okay we saw names like wayne charles jeffrey jason you name it he had another profile attached to these images and someone was claiming to be various different names so we finally did get a hit, and this man in these photos is not a man named Arvid. The real man is a Turkish journalist named Martin. Okay. Gay. Um, Turkish <laughs> journalist. Well, you know, he did say that he was in Turkey. Um, <clears throat> not living in Turkey, but that he had been in Turkey working. Give me his boyfriend's name. And supposedly what, he what was left it again? Turkey. Martin, Turkish journalist. Hold on, I, I'll, I'll, I will find out. You know right. he's gay because he, he did he did this another this, this pose right here with yeah. the, the with the, the arm the, up. The, that that's that is something a guy does attached to that's something that these images. Do. That's so, something that gay faggots do. Someone Super was claiming to be various different names. So we finally did get a hit and. This man in these photos is not a man named Arvid. The real man is a Turkish journalist named Martin. Named Martin. Here, wait, wait I think I, could I think I have. I think I have his Insta right here. Oh wow, this guy's Instagram annoys me. Just by pull I'll find him. Instagram or the Gram, as the kids call it. Mm, yes, Checking. yes, indeed, the Gram. Guys, I'm surfing the Gram. Um, <laughs> I bet you feel so young inside. I really don't. Everything hurts. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, there he is. Got him. All right. Let's see. Let's let's let's. let's, let's shall we do it in our own our own social catfish investigation on whether this gentleman likes gentlemen? Okay. All right. One, two, three, four, five oh, pictures down. There's a there's one with a dude. Noches de luces, nights, friends. Hashtag bear gay. Hashtag daddy. Hashtag gay. night gay. Yeah. Yeah, he's gay. I knew it. You really know how to pick him. I know a gay guy when I see one. <laughs> you really got your gaydar in tune. My yeah. gaydar is well, fucking I've perfect. Never I've never seen someone so excited to catch a gay. Yeah, well, it takes up close calibration, you know, to get the gaydar right. You got to get up close with them, get personal. Why do you think they're them. called glory Love holes? Love them. That's how you calibrate your gaydar at a glory hole. Um, yeah, gay. Let's see if we can hear if he sounds gay. Okay, I don't know what that is. Oh, gay. it's his gay music. Bro, that's such a gay guy. <laughs> Look how gay that is. People that old don't listen to that kind of music unless they're gay. This is the music he buys children to. Yeah. But only the boys. Just, only the boys for some reason. It's kind of weird, right? Well, and the boys because he's gay. Um, oh. Funny. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. He's daddy. Name Ugh. Martin. Ugh, don't say that. Ugh, God. Um, <laughs> Grr. <laughs> well, you know, he did say that he was in Turkey. Um, <clears throat> That's his boyfriend's name. Not living in Turkey, but that he had been in Turkey working. And supposedly he left Turkey to come back to the States. I said, considering if you came to this country when you were 12, why do you have such a thick accent? Hey, Heidi. I just want to tell you I love you so much. You bring so much joy into my life. <laughs> All right now, I don't that know who it is. That, that match, the face we and the voice the really match. Yeah. That, yeah. that he's left yeah. you. I believe we're it. We're very familiar with the accent that he has, and that, that is 100% a West African accent. What, what you trying to say? 
What it, you trying to say? That it's a West African accent. It's a West African oh. accent. Oh, all right. Okay. I hear you. Do you never think the cameras go off and they just look at each other and they're like, you know, I kind of understand why white people hate black people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I kind of get it now. Yeah. And the reason why he gave you these, these stories and used these images was to get you to send money. This is no doubt a romance scam that you're in. They take stories and elements from the real person's life like Martin, who's completely innocent, by the way, he's not in the eyes of Martin. God, not in the eyes of God. Yeah, he's never spoken to you. He doesn't even know we're doing this video right now. All of his photos and his life and his likeness was used to dupe you out of money. OK, damn, nigga. Hey. And he said things to me like, um, I want to be there. I want to prove to your family that I'm not who they say I am. Oh my goodness. We think that you should block him and report this scam. It'll be my pleasure to block him. We need to get him to click a, a link. You'll send it to him and when he clicks on it, we'll be able to grab his IP address. Okay. We did end up sending a link to Arvid from our website, fugiftcards.com. When he clicked on it, his IP address came back to Lagos, Nigeria. There I got it for you, Papa. Nagarian. <laughs> if you if you accurately describe this song to somebody, you would be called a racist. Well, yes. I'll call that anyway, so who cares? Who gives a shit? <sighs> Over the Every years, time. Nigeria Every has unfortunately time. gained a reputation for being associated with romance scams. This person had been lying to Hetty for years just to get her to send money. You're telling me he's a nigger? It was 19 <clears throat> months. It wasn't yeah, even years. That's. Uh, I feel like Liza is going to have a problem with this, too. Yeah, this is not great. <laughs> Bro, this he bitch is... is like 89. Like, 18 months is such a drop in the bucket of her entire life. Like, this is so fucking retarded. You're a dumb bitch. You should fucking die in an old folks' home, you fucking whore. Wow, Jesus Christ. Well, now she won't be she... able to afford it, so... That's true. She's going to die in one of those public-owned old folks' homes. Yeah, with the Jamaicans. I hear they treat white women real well. Mm -hmm. Or a women's shelter with a bunch of trans people in it. Oh, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, no, Virgie, those, those are the Haitians. The Haitians are even worse. They hate white people. Oh, God, they do. They they really do. They hate us because they ain't us. Yeah, true. Uh, mm -hmm. Easy sloth, <laughs> you shall not pass unless it's tax deductible. Gates off above, you're supposed to save all your money, then spend it on a gay morning comedy show that airs 10 to 12. What? Steel hey. Toe? He just, she starts earlier than that. Um, ah! Ah! Blah! <laughs> Shots fired. About was... Is he real? And I guess he's not. Um, God, I wish there was a way to to get my money back. I there is. Oh wait, no. I was thinking of Back to the Future. Really? Well, you know what? Scared. At least this will never happen to her again. Because That's true. She doesn't have any more money. <laughs> God damn! I call you the blade. <laughs> Just Woo! deep cuts. <laughs> You got nothing to lose now, bitch. I come up with a game plan That's for you. That's deeper than a Puerto Rican. Um, because of <laughs> the information that this person has used, um, it is going to be a long road to retrieving that money. But there won't be any money retrieved. We can mm -mm. guide you and point you in the right direction and help you get this stuff reported. Um, when I met him, I wasn't looking you to never meet met anybody. Him. Um because I was a widow for only five and a half months. And, and you, you what? Yeah, Virgie, the body wasn't even cold. What? Yeah. She's such a cunt. She did that to her husband like that. Oh, yeah. my gosh. All for and, Hey, hey, death to you part. All right. Yeah. Does I'm she have them. does she have kids? 
Yes. She, yes. Okay, so Virgie, Virgie. I would honor worst... kill my mother. I would fucking honor kill this bitch. <laughs> but, but before but before she she got with the dead husband, she was mar- she, she she married a dead guy twice. He was. She was married twice before that. Yeah. Yeah. Twice divorced. Oh, so she's just like really good at relationships and reading a room. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's a woman. Uh, I believe four kids. Four. Jess. Kids. Jess. I I I don't I don't mean you, but like, I fucking hate women, bro. Yeah. No, it's okay. Most oh, of them suck. Oh my yeah. god, I hate women. Yeah, I, I mean, don't you need to give money to your babies? Like after you, like she's not far off from the grave. She doesn't. She care. should have left some money for her children. She does. I bet. She doesn't I care. I bet you. I bet oh. you. I bet you money. None of her fucking kids talk to her. No, nah, she's the, a boomer. She's an old boomer. Virgie, her kids hate her. Vir- Virgie and Jess, uh, the kids considered the dead guy their dad. Correct. So. <sighs> <clears throat> Maybe the Nigerian guy has kids. Oh, you know he does, but he never takes care of them. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Cause he's black. And <laughs> yeah, it was implied. <laughs> oh, I mean, like, yeah, but like, if you have a kitten and it's like born like with FIP, do you really feed it? Like the same thing with Nigeria. <laughs> they all have AIDS. They all have an expiration date. Why the fuck? Mm-hmm. It's like getting attached to an egg in your fridge. It was. So soon, and now actually, maybe I have time to to grieve properly. Oh. This is about yeah. you. You're right. She Not- should just kill herself. Yeah. yeah, you you let everything go from that marriage, including his his his. Hey, insurance Frozen, money. what's it called when you Japanese people kill themselves? Sudoku. Something. Yeah, Sudoku. Oh, <laughs> Sudoku. Yeah. Yeah. The honorable Seppuku. death. Seppuku. The honorable death of Sudoku. No, it's Sudoku. It's definitely Sudoku. That's the one where they kill themselves with numbers in a book, right? Yeah, they do oh. math until they want to die. Okay, cool. All right, well, she should commit Sudoku. How come it hasn't happened for me yet? I keep playing Sudoku. <laughs> oh, Frozen. You're, you're bad, not good at math. You're bad at numbers. <laughs> the worst agent ever. No, but I, I I pass all these, like, these are broken these calcul- puzzles in, he's, like, ten he's, minutes. He's a broken calculator. <sighs> there's, a, there's a new name, Frozen. Broken Calculator. <laughs> I prefer Yellow Magic. Yellow Magic is good, too, actually. <laughs> yellow Magic, you're an idiot. Oh, but my husband. <laughs> because I do miss him terribly. I feel like I've shamed him. I feel like I've you, shamed you his did. name. You, you did, did, though. You should feel ashamed. You shamed your bloodline. Um... And to have been so foolish with money. Jesus Christ. Uh, if, he could, if he could say something to me right now, I'm sure it would be. You stupid a cunt. backhand. You stupid fucking bitch cunt. You stupid fucking cunt bitch, cunt bitch, slut cunt bitch. Really? And a black guy out of all people? Yeah, we know. He hates black guys. Uh-huh. What were you thinking? The truth was tough for Hetty, but the good news is we had this person's crypto wallet and IP address. We sent resources to Hetty on where to report this scam. They don't do anything. It all starts with a police report. Getting your money back from a romance scam is a long road, but we're going to be here with her to guide her through every A long step. road that you'll never get down because mm-hmm. it will never happen. Look, I'm committing I'm... Sudoku. Yes, there it is. He committed Sudoku. They... <laughs> there it is. <laughs> there it is. It's one of the funniest gifts ever made. <laughs> so thankful. Because I would have gone on believing and trusting him and Wow. Call yourself stupid. Even though being suspicious, I wanted to trust him. Cuz you're stupid. I wanted to believe him. Like a stupid person. So I'm just really so thankful that you should feel stupid, not thankful. I have a concrete answer. The answer is you're stupid. Thank you so much. No problem, Eddie. Talk to you soon. Okay. What a dumb bitch. 
Greek I was fucking... gonna do the same joke. What a <laughs> stupid fucking bloop bloop. What a du- oh, she's still there. Hey, Eddie. <laughs> Fuck it, I stand by what I said. Yeah, you you're a dumb, dumb bitch. bitch. You dumb bitch. <laughs> She's like, I don't know if I quite believe you. Yeah, um, well, cause... I'm gonna need a little bit more evidence. Yeah. So they're gonna check up on her. Like they have to check up on all these people. I, yeah. I swear, they really do. All right, finally, say it ain't so. The famed, nearly century-old pea soup Anderson's restaurant in Bolton has closed without a goodbye. Along long- fuck is pea soup Anderson's? Do they just sell like, pea soup? That sounds like the worst restaurant. Ever. Well, it's in Los Angeles, so. P. Soup Anderson's. Get the menu. P. Soup Anderson's menu. Let's see. Ew. Ew. Oh my God. You want to see? Oh God, yeah, I do. Oh God, more than life itself. This is from their official website. This is their official website. Mm-hmm. All right, here we go. <clears throat> There's you want a salad? The mm. fuck is that? The traveler special. All who wants who wants all you can eat split pea soup? Huh? This is old people food. Hey, this is like old people food. Patty loves this place. Okay. This yeah, she eats her by herself. Well, not anymore. She can't afford. She it. can't afford it. <laughs> I'm going to splurge on pea soup today. Look at the appetizers, Roy. See, hold on. Oh, you need to check out the apps. Check out the apps. You want know watch? Guys, who wants to split a pickled herring with me? Who wants to go? If I order pickled herring for the table, will everybody eat some? Because <laughs> I don't want to eat the pickled herring by myself. You guys like. People that you've already like taken out to a nice place from now on, you guys should just try to find restaurants like this. Yes. <laughs> pickled herring. I've ordered Ooh, pickled Matt. herring. Will everybody order eat some? I'm for the table. So it's a fish sandwich everywhere now. Could you, could you imagine yes. having Alex Rosen at a restaurant? You order some pickled herring. Hey Alex, <laughs> you want to go have these on a pickled herring? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck. Uh, all right. Then you get it to the Super Supreme Chicken Nachos. Homemade Ooh, refried. I'm sorry, sir. Pronounce that right. Soup. Er. Supreme <laughs> Chicken Nachos. <laughs> nachos. Ho- homemade refried beans topped with a heaping pile of corn tortilla chips fried fresh to order. Top of Monterey Jack cheddar cheese, grilled cheese, grilled chicken breast, diced tomatoes, green onions, black olives, served with sour cream and fresh homemade salsa on the side. It's way too big of a description All for right. a menu. Hold on, let's see the, check out their burgers and sandwiches. Hap peas Ugh. Monster burger. If they had pictures, though, it would just be gross green soup. Yes, it would just be. And pickled hair. <laughs> so, again, nobody wants to go have seats <laughs> with me in the pickled hair. <laughs> I don't know why that would be such an honor if someone did that. Here you go. Here's some pictures. Huh? You want an old lady dinner? <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's, That's an old that lady. That looks like mirror. hospital food. It does. It does. Dude, this feels like we're pretending to be producers for kitchen nightmares. <laughs> like... <laughs> no, that, that's disgusting. Hey, guys, listen. I'm not going to eat it. If someone wants to go half of my Alaskan cod filet, because I don't think I want the whole thing. It's, is cod not the most inappetizing fucking fish on the face of the planet? Yeah, I don't like I don't like cod. It's no flavor. No, no flavor fish. This is like old people's food with sensitive palates. What is this? It's for the, the it's for the elderly Ruben. autist. The worst Reuben you've ever laid eyes on. That's terrible. Yeah, that looks really this place sucks. Maybe their breakfast is better. It's just normal breakfast stuff. N- 
Anderson's pickled herring scrambled eggs and bacon. <laughs> pickled herring stuffed croissant. Ew. I'm sorry. You don't want a pickled fucking. You want a pickled herring crepe? God damn. <laughs> even their Man, dessert. The even chat. their dessert is old. Pe- what did she say? Yum! It's making me hi- hungry. Thank God it's almost dinner time. Look at it, a cell phone, a cell phone, my <laughs> Miami mouth. Look, it's old people desserts. Yes, yes, waiter. I'd like to start with the pickled herring, and then I'll have some cold pea Gestapo, or not <laughs> Gestapo, Gestapo, not Gestapo. That's I'm sorry, it's yeah, just on the brain. You're, all th- the you're thinking of your <laughs> day job. Yeah, I'm thinking of my day job, <laughs> and a homemade honey bread pudding to finish. You know what I want? No, again, thank huh, you, Virgie. I want guys. Does anyone want to split a dessert? Some Danish style cherry wine Sunday? What huh? is that? I have no fucking clue. First off, I don't yeah. know there was different styles of cherry wine. But then Grandpa will just start talking about the Gestapo again. Again, yeah. And then, it's, it's glory days. <laughs> those goddamn Jews wouldn't have tunneled out of my place. That's for sure. Grandpa, <laughs> stop. We're we're at we're at Split Peace Anderson. Please act act like. Have some respect for the establishment. It's the dementia. <coughs> yeah, I don't know yeah, if I it's, want it's this dementia. Dementioning the Jews. <laughs> um, I, uh, Miss Anderson's double crust pie. I don't know if apple. I want a pie. Uh, it is crusted. Mm. Um. Anyway, guys, Split P. Anderson's is closing. All right, finally, say it ain't so. The famed nearly century-old Pea Soup Anderson's restaurant in Bolton has closed without a goodbye to longtime fans and travelers. The iconic location just off the 101 once claimed to serve 2 million cups of soup per year during its heyday. 2 million disgusting cups of soup a year. By the way, it's, right, it's, it's next to the Best Western. According to company oh. reps, that location is going to be torn down. So what and I re- think... I find dining, I think, split pea soup. Yeah. And Best Western. Mmm. Torn down and rebuilt, so the restaurant may return. The problem is you eat, you get so full, you need a place to stay. After that, so Anderson's right Restaurant Market and Could you imagine hall. eating pea soup at a Best Western? I'd put a bullet in my head. That sounds like the plot of a Coen Brothers movie. <laughs> it does. Doesn't it? Like, hey. it's weird. But they it's get it from the like co- a vending machine yeah. and it takes like three hours for it to come out. <laughs> Take hot date for split pea soup. There mm-hmm. you go. Mark oh, also write hall. down order the herring. Mm-hmm. Order the, order pickled the herring. herring. Yeah. And then Ask immediately try to make out. Seas. Yeah, eat the pickled herring and then go for a kiss. Go. Mm. <laughs> you, you look at her and you go, "Hey, hey, you ever seen Lady yeah. and the Tramp? You ever uh, see that? Wouldn't it be Wouldn't it be wild if we did like a Lady and the Tramp but with like like pickled herring? Yeah, it would be great. Now it sounds like a put, Woody Allen movie. Put herring like you were a sea lion and <laughs> offer it to her like a kiss and go. Mm. You know yeah, what I like see, to do from, with the from, pickled herring? What's that? I like to put it in between my lip and my teeth like it's, <laughs> like it's tobacco and suck on it. This, <laughs> this is so stupid. Um, <laughs> we did a 20 minute bit on a menu of a restaurant. <laughs> FYI, <laughs> that's what we did. <laughs> oh my God, pickled herring looks disgusting. Once it gets nice and moist, you swish it around in your mouth and it cleans your teeth out because all the little bones. Here you go. We're, we're watching how to pick a leg. Hi, everyone. Trivia FCM. Welcome. Hi, everyone. I don't speak English, but you know why you're watching the video. Right. <laughs> we know. Welcome to my channel. In Baltic states, we eat a lot yes, of... Yes, I'm a wild and crazy sex trafficking victim. And she does this. <laughs> One of the most traditional dishes we have and today I'll show you how to pickle fresh herring so you can serve it in many many other ways. It's a very quick video and hopefully it- Amnison saves her in time. Quick do, do you think Let's conservative get- women get as upset about her pickling her herring Don't as say. they do about the, <laughs> people the way, baking cakes? The way you said pickling her herring, <laughs> look the conservative <laughs> counter people are not going to be very happy with you. You need to chill. We're going to need salt, sugar. Oh ladies. shit! I could see her wrist, fucking harlot. <laughs> 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 
Be careful, it might splatter on her shirt. You so. don't want any of that. Are those Close. boobies? That's a demon woman. <laughs> this is demonic. <laughs> And look, she's unmarried, so. Wow, I guess we know what kind of woman she is. Someone who pickles her herring for all the guys on the street. Yeah, what are you fucking, what are you fucking a whore? Pickling herring out of wedlock? <laughs> <laughs> Pickled my herring out of wedlock is very funny. <clears throat> Peppercorns, hot water, two to three fresh herrings. This is such an easy recipe. My grandpa so always said women should be in the kitchen pickling their herring. <laughs> such a Jezebel. She's showing too much collarbone. Oh, yeah. You know what? What a what, what a whore. I hate the Internet now. So she's probably all... trying to tempt my husband with her pickled hair. That's what it is. She can tell she's <laughs> so the, the, the smell lines are making him float like a cartoon towards her pickled herring. It, just <laughs> it, it smells like home. So. Mm. Where, where did he live? <laughs> Behind a Benny Hanna dumpster? <laughs> <laughs> the fucking hair fumes are just like a I little cartoon. Him. Like <laughs> na 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 na. <laughs> Ladies, make sure you pickle a herring for your man before he comes home. I know I always pickle herring for, for Salk before he it's, leaves the house. So that's so you know. nice of you. They know. That way he has they a, know. he has a very sour snack for the gym. <laughs> <laughs> a sour dried out fish snack. Do you imagine eating fuck <laughs> <laughs> her- Honey, I'm gonna eat pickled herring and go squat. <laughs> You go in, you go into the gym with like a big ass, like those giant jugs of water and a mason jar full of pickled herring. <laughs> it's in a mason jar. Leave the bottle. What do you think this is? What do you think this is, that's, guys? That's pickled, okay. that's pickled herring all juice. Right. Pickled ah. herring juice. You've said at all times. Sugar and salt into our hot water. What we're trying to say, ladies, is always keep a pickling jar in handy. Make sure the the, the herring's in, though, mm-hmm. to make sure your your man doesn't run astray. Give it a good mix. We want to make sure all the sugar and salt dissolve. So what you're saying is the pickled herring milkshake brings all the boys to the yard? Yeah, and they're like, <laughs> oh, God, why did I drink that? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just, we just keep all the stuff on it, huh? Okay, cool. Uh, uh-huh. Scales and everything. Oh, I love when we boil stuff. Just a couple cloves, huh? That's it? That's all. The, that's enough spice for all that herring. Oh, Personally, herring I like into- to listen to porn-adjacent music when I pickle <laughs> yeah. my herring, too. That, that, that's that's pickle, pickle herring music. For about 12 hours. That's how you get them in the mood. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Guy walks in. Honey, is that sm- is that what's that alluring smell? Is that my favorite pickled herring? Overnight. <laughs> He's like, no, out. I was just sitting crisscross applesauce. So. <laughs> oh. I worked oh, 16 I hear- hours a day for you, bitch, and my herring's not even pickled? I have to just fry up my hairy like some sort of fucking bleb? ...from the fridge and gave it a really good wash. Now we're gonna cut it yes, up. Yes, make sure you handle them frequently with your bare hands. Mm-hmm. So you take a fillet yeah, that's of a nice herring, knife. and we're gonna cut it in the middle. Just like that. Okay, so that comes apart, and then we're just gonna cut it further down. Don't cut yourself. Cross through the middle, okay? And then we're gonna fillet each bit. We're gonna get rid of all the bones um, and the side bits. Do you even get anything out of this? There's so little meat. Fish, we're gonna have to take off the skin. Pickle it, bitch! Where's the pickle Hope part? Hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Leave your comments below. I'll when be did you pickle it? I never saw her pickle it. She didn't pick. She boiled it. That's not but pickling it. It's not pickling it. Pickling is when is you know you know like pickles. This is why she's not married. Because she can't yeah. pickle herring. You're right. Fucking whore. 
Hey, there's a legit good idea in your donations right now. Hello, and welcome. Doubtful. No, how much in, in Rumble Rants would it take Royce to drink a pickled herring milkshake? I wouldn't do it. There's not enough money. You can't give me enough money. I don't do that kind There's of There's always shit. a number. How much? No, how much for Frozen to do it? Um, I'll do it for three grand. Okay. There's your number. See, there's a man that has a number. King of all pixels. Broken calculator is what my dad called retarded Asian drivers. That's funny. Easy sloth. The Peace Restaurant menu should be our boner killer for all the other food stuff we watch on Daywave. I've never even liked peas in any form. I call them the devil's dingleberries, Camera Chris says. This is pickled herring, motherfuckers. You know, now that I think about it, frozen calculator. It should have been right there in front of us the yeah. whole time. It's the Fro fucked up calculator. Frozen calculator. This is pickling. Mm, yes. Put your hands in it. So that they um so they don't take up a Are you, are you miking your nostril? <laughs> That's where he's got his fucking his lapel mic clipped onto his nose. Yeah. <laughs> and that is how you pickled herring. And here we have our pickled herring. And now you put it in the trash. That's how the video ends. <laughs> Just dumping it in the garbage. There was not a lick of sex music. No. Now that wasn't yeah, because that's trad pickling of herring. Oh, right. Internet trad. Yeah. Whatever that means. That. Yeah. Oh, it means. Oh, God. What is this? Frozen? I don't know. Fucking ask JJ. He sent it. Yeah, this, this is internet is trad. This is a crossover of a try on haul, and you'll see. This How does this bitch make a video without crossing over into another oh, no, person's no, no, no. Go face? Go all the way back. Go to the beginning. Sorry. No, no, you don't. You don't see, but her half of her is in the other room. Half yes. of her is in another dimension. Yes. Also, JJ, hold on. This is an abomination. JJ, is that her name at the at the bottom there? Yes. How do you That's pronounce name. that name? Uh, plus size sugar. Plus size sugar. Okay. okay. Wonder where she made this video. Intersection eight. On the top of the Empire State Building. <laughs> okay, y'all. I'm coming on here with a lime grind trying haul. Oh, so God. To to Are you hearing the baby in the background? Yes, right baby in the back. It checks all the boxes. Just wait for it. Is there going to no, be a I, chirp? I, I couldn't hear but, 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 but the smacking. Is there going to be so a chirp? Smacking. Is there going to be a chirp? You know there's going to be a chirp. Just fucking wait for it. Jesus. She's not getting on a ladder. This is the first one. This orange. Size 48 DDD. Wait, what? 48 DDD? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's Cur it's a Kirby boss. It's a burnt orange one. Um, I'm trying to get the size just a little bit more so I can show y'all. I'd rather you did it. Okay, we have a woman here. We don't usually. She's lying about the cup size. That's like a G, bro. Yeah, honestly, that yeah, that's that's huge. Um, yeah, I'm sure she's not lying about the 48 though, because damn. Yeah, yeah, no, that that I damn. see. I see that. But that, yeah, yeah triple D. I mm -mm. mean, that's really that's not that big, really, to today's standards. No, that's Bro, something else. Every time my wife gets pregnant, she's like almost on triple D. Yeah, me too. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, it's pretty great. It's awesome. It's like the yes. best part. Salt loves it. <laughs> I know. Yeah, <laughs> it fucking rules. Pregnant yeah, it's like within a best. Yeah, within a week, it's like, whoa, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's there the whole time? <laughs> okay, so this is number two. I heard it. There it was. Okay. I heard it. Let's see. Okay, so this is number two. <laughs> there it is. You want, you want to see the disgusting thing I noticed? Everything? Look, keep, keep going. Keep going. Two. She's so fat, the center of her chest... Like where the titties meet is overhanging on other parts of flesh. Oh yeah, that's just like, that's there's a, whole a crease mess. there. That's a whole. <laughs> that's a garbled mess. <laughs> no, so I don't think, I don't <laughs> think she washed. Uh, oh, JJ, come on, man. It had a chirp. I thought of you guys. This is in a fifty-four DD. Okay, no. Let's hope they all fit because she's trying them on, right? And you know she's got fungus in those folds. Oh, 
God. Like sour milk. Yeah. Stop it. Uh, Broham Royce, check out uh, Strong Storm. And if you think uh, that pickled herring is bad, here's a video of people trying it. Maybe. But I need to take a second here because I'm already pretty grossed out mm. in like a bunch of ways. Also, I thought the minimum <laughs> thanks to th thanks to Gates for setting this, by the way, for us to play videos was 20. I mean, I mean, look, I'm not even saying if it's not. I'll 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 play something if it's worth it. But I do not need something gross right now. OK, not everything's about you guys. OK, we've already got them queasy. I am queasy. I want them to puke. I don't send them any you know weird stuff in his dms i'm not gonna watch it i'll just i'll just ignore my dms i don't really care um how will you know mercer is gonna be late because it's fucking thursday <laughs> it's gonna be late every day yeah and that's you know in this video all right almost every it. review i do i'm lying the whole yeah time. really good i traveled so all the way to manila here in the philippines I got how are you hungry up until this point no, Pickled herring and black fungus? We have to do a security check. Never mind. Now I'm not hungry anymore. Just Why do you have to remind me of these things? I saw good food and then all, every, mine wipe. And then you just Most remind expensive me. Buffet. You lift our titties and a bunch Welcome of salamanders fall out like you're digging a garden. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Go splat. Hey, Viva, Viva, all... hey, Viva Pinata Titty, come over here. <laughs> you, you, you lift all one and, for air <laughs> you lift one and all of a sudden you see a lot of like potato bugs just crawl out jesus fucking christ you guys are gross looks like that scene of the when they Sorry, go down okay? the if i add sound effects but first let's back up Last time I came here and I tried to do a hundred dollar street food challenge i could hardly even spend nine dollars on about eight yeah it's a poor country sonny Mm. They're poor people. Different foods. This country has incredibly affordable food. But one place, one buffet decided to do things a little bit differently. How much it costs? It is nearly $90. I'm going to go inside now and see if it's worth all the hype. Let's go check it out. Good intro, right? Sir, it's unsafe here, sir. Unsafe. It's unsafe? Yeah, because I'm here. <laughs> Space. Oh my god, we have to do a security check before we go to this buffet. This is the most secure buffet I've ever been to. We have made it past. Someone's ever been to the Golden Corral in Orlando. Security. <laughs> <laughs> Sir. Golden and having illegal guns does not make it safe. <laughs> All the time. You know what? As long as I got a gun, I'm fine. Because I don't turn my I don't turn it sideways, so I have a better chance. You know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because of black people. It's huge. And it smells like so it smells racist. Like rich people. Why they gotta? Why they gotta fucking kill people? I mean, I don't know. You know? Oh yeah, I forgot. They're black. They are pretty bad. Yeah. Coming at me all hard. Um, <laughs> there is an unbelievable amount of variety here. Honestly, there must be hundreds of items. There is no possible way you could even eat 20% of the food they offer here. But I will still do my best to show you what they have. Oh, I'm here with Chef Julian at the Spiral Buffet. Does I'm very he always wear the Sir? really bad bandana? Uh huh. Yes. yes. Uh, That's his trademark. trademark. I hate him. Oh, he rules. Do not, do not yeah. hate Sonny. The, uh, the, the, the bandana's bad. He's why okay. he had a bandana because he was losing his hair, right? Then he made a video that about that makes it worse. I know, I know, I know. Then he then he made a video about getting a hair transplant, and he actually made fun of himself for it. So you know what? He's pretty based. I'll tell you that. You know yeah. what it was his excuse for wearing the bandana on Rogan was? Mm. He sweats a lot. Well, I don't buy that. That that's a hairline thing, and that's fine. But that's what it is. So it's nice to meet you. One of the things that stands let, out when people talk let about me, the Let me sell you on this guy, Jess. He goes to foreign poor countries, like countries that are so fucking poor and eats all their shit, right? Yeah. And tries to spend as much money as he physically can doing it. Usually spends about fifteen dollars, and ends up making like fucking tens of thousands off the video. So it's perfect. He's he's exploiting the living shit out of poor foreigners. He rules. And he mm. still wears that dumbass bandana. Yeah, okay. he does. <laughs> she can't get over the bandana. Do you I can't. like poison? You know, Brett Michaels. Eh? Not an '80s hair metal person. Yeah, yeah. he's no. that guy, but you know, over there. Every, every 90s exactly. mechanic, every rose has its thorn. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, but this guy hasn't done like a hard day's work in his life. Like he has Probably no. Not. That bandana's clean. 
expensive in Manila, <laughs> coming in at nearly ninety dollars. How do we get there? I don't know. It's pretty hard to run away from Somalians. <laughs> <laughs> to, to be fair, to be fair, he almost got arrested in oh that's right egypt egypt yeah yeah they fuck with him hard he said he fucking hates it because they, they, they were trying to fuck his world up so what we they kept like hundreds of thousands of his camera equipment too remember that a drone yeah different prices so it starts for the lunch which it starts around 50 dollars something like that for the dinner the price increased a little bit for example we had foie gras we had uh, i don't like foie gras U.S. prime rib on the weekend. Prime rib I like. And evening, we have what we call the dyke night. So it's more on the... The dyke night? It becomes a gay bar? Seafood. The price it's is seafood. higher. It's a lot the of slipper lobsters. And then a lot of pickled herring. I was going to make... I was going to go, excuse me, I see all this lobster and all these crab legs, but where's your pickled herring? <laughs> <laughs> we we have an internet uh trad thought making it in the back sorry it's gonna yeah. be like 30 hours oh fuck so. that's fine i yeah. guess i'll have the she's lobster. never baked before yeah she's never <laughs> baked before yeah but she's got a t-shirt on and she's so. only yeah. she's only filming her boobs not even the food so we don't know what she's making we're not sure <laughs> if you look deep then... into her cleavage you can see she's christian yes <laughs> yeah there's a crucifix the cross is in there somewhere it's buried deep in the cleavage our very weekly highlight is the Sunday brunch. It's more expensive, it's 6,300 pesos, sure. right? But it includes a free flow of champagne. Uh, it includes the foie gras. Free... I don't want foie gras. Stop pushing it on me. Is Chester, that the guy from Ratatouille? Ratatouille? I think everybody that's French is from is the guy from Ratatouille. Uh, of beef. We have also a massive cheese. It's the only place. way I can stand them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because most French people are Muslims now is the cheese room let's go inside and i'll explain why cheese you need room. a separated if you go to a cheese room and don't cut a little piece and go look at me i'm cutting the cheese and everyone laughs but you're not even you know it'd be funny you don't even want to be funny room just for the cheese okay the cheese looks pretty fucking good uh, why do you need yeah. a cheese room yeah, two reasons that. one the philippines is hot and humid we don't want all this cheese melting two it smells <laughs> that's why i have my own room i smell i go to my room let's start here that is a freaking leg am i gonna get demonetized for this no because it doesn't have a face Ooh, a ham leg Until now all right youtube now what stalemate mm -hmm. can i have some of this leg very nice what is the most stinky cheese that one god okay can i try it Ooh. Is it, I don't like when cheese is too stinky. I don't mind a little bit, but too much? No thanks. Pretty stinky. So, so blue would be your uh your 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 I'm fine with blue. blue. I'm fine with blue. How stinky do you go, snob? Well, actually, you make my they, eyes water. The the gorgonzola actually. Gorgonzola? I like gorgonzola yeah, too. I'll, I'll go stinky, bro. I like gorgonzola. I, I love cheese. Okay, I'll try that. Sorry, is it okay if I add sound effects? Yes. Okay. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you. We are now officially ready to start this meal. This is a glass. Frozen, we have a security board back there. I'm fucking starving. You don't want to know. Oh. Some wine. It costs 780 pesos. Cheers. You know not to leave me with food. Real good. First of all, I want to say already people are out in full force. It is going to be a challenge to keep this buffet put together and looking nice. Two, the music. It's really loud. I hope we can, <laughs> we can turn it down or else we're going to get demonetized. Number three, they brought me a basket of bread. This is smart. This is what they do. Like, you know, oh, I don't want to get up and walk around. I'm just going to eat bread. Really? Because they have. That's how they get you, by the way. It's something <laughs> every 40 year old at a buffet has said. That's how they get you, the bread. Multiple different types of lobsters up there. Don't do the bread. Moving on to our first course right here. In that cheese room, there were a couple of nice looking legs. I'm telling you. When a guy says his favorite body part on a woman is her legs, he wants them to look like that. Nice. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's try it out. Oh yeah, thinly sliced, salty, savory, oily, delicious. But what about the cheese? This one is a gorgonzola. It looks like it was left on a rooftop in July. I shouldn't be using my fingers. I Use a fork, you animal. <laughs> a bit sharp, creamy, gooey. Why aren't you using a fork? God, who stinks? <laughs> and I was like... It was me. Do you know why? I put on some kind of weird organic vegetarian deodorant. It was not that effective. Mm, vegetarian Yeah, deodorant. like a vegetarian diet. <laughs> yeah. Or the After hair plug. 
wow, coming in hot. You know, like Just you think his hair plugs like look good? Nigga. You think his <laughs> hair plugs look good? I mean, I can't see them because he has that dumbass bandana on. The, so the bandana is actually a hat. He pulls it off, and the hair goes with it. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Can Embrace the mom. Can I so petition that we get Jess shot, twice a week? It may not get us Jess is very funny. Like, like, can we trade Jess, Jess for Jess? is for very Jess. mean, though. What's up, Marie? What's the difference? Marie has to go to work. Yeah. I also have to be a mother, so, you know. Well, he's, so, you know. It tastes like yeah. a sweet pico de gallo inside. Some kind of like semi-fruity sweet pico de gallo for a little bit. Dish. I've never seen anything like this. This is course two. Let's go up for more. All right, we have come to the Asian section, and this is Korea, you know, because they have... Frozen? No. Did you ever make that food? What the fuck, bro? You look great, yeah, are you so happy to just fucking y'all know it? Yeah, I was here. gonna say, did you ever make that kind of food? Jesus Christ! You know. Also, I... are you the, are you that little Asian doll? <laughs> I just said no. You said <laughs> <I'm good. laughs> little figurines wearing what's called a hanbok, and this is what I'm most interested in right here. What? What is that? Oh, okay. So what is that? This is they're, they're gonna grill that, put it in that oh. lettuce leaf over there, and okay. then with the banchan, put it in. If so like the, the, the banchan is all like pickled stuff, uh, like herring. God damn it! <laughs> do you think? Do you think they have pickled herring there? <laughs> I'm gonna start asking at every restaurant me and my wife go. Do you have any pickled herring? That's a lot of McDonald's ass at it. I know it's like in the drive-through at McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, I don't see any pickled herring on the menu. You guys got that? Is that a secret Sir. menu item thing? Sir, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> Some can solve the and then, then it gets even worse. Bed. They go, "Yeah, we do." Fuck. <laughs> God damn it. And yeah, they called your bluff. Now you gotta eat it. Oh. Where is the pork belly? Way over here. The pork belly man. It's Korean oh, barbecue, but not belly. on your table. They take care of all the mess, all the grease splatter. It stays over there. Then in just a moment, I come back. I present my token, and I take my food. Thank you so much. So I have my Korean that shit barbecue does right look here. Fuck it up, does dude. look good. But that is not enough for one course. I need one more food. Right here, we've come to a person. Do you get any weird cravings when you're pregnant, Jess, for food? Um, not real, not like people say, not like, like in the peanut movies. butter and pickles yeah. and shit like that. I I'll want like certain foods really badly, right? But but not like weird shit. No. Okay. All right. It's an old pad thai station. I have never seen such a thing. I've seen omelet stations, but here you can order pate to your taste. Pad thai. Ew. They have a bunch of ingredients here. Let's take a look. Is that croutons? <laughs> I'm such an idiot. I was about to be like, croutons don't go on pad thai. It's tofu. They have shrimp. They have bean sprouts, lemon, onion, peanuts, coriander, tomato, lots and lots of stuff. Right here, he's got a little grill. He adds some oil. He puts in a couple of shrimp. Could I have more shrimp? Yeah. Could I, I have, have a that bit same pan? He's making about a lot of shrimp. Okay. He does. And then one more shrimp. That's good. That's enough shrimp. Guys, this is challenging. I understand an omelet requires an egg, but uh, I don't know how to make pad thai. You're going to help me? So he gets some onions. He puts that on there. He stirs those about. He puts a little bit of... I got to stop. No, I'm not doing this again. We watch food and then I get starving. No. Frozen. I'm pregnant. I, I, I'm like hungry all the time. So. Royce, yeah. <laughs> what were you craving earlier? Nothing. You were. You were craving something. You told me. I wanted breakfast food. I'm gonna look for some breakfast food. I know, don't. I don't want to stop. I have other videos. <laughs> like an omelet, a McMuffin. Yeah, man. Like a, like oh. an omelet with pickled okay. herring. Yeah. We we got to this conversation earlier. Scrambled or omelet? If uh, you're to choose, I'd rather have an egg scramble than an omelet. Yeah, scrambled. I could do what I want with it. Yep. Scrambled. Yeah, no, it's, it's super. But I won't turn an omelet down. You no, know? but it's but but a, but, a scram still gonna eat. but a scramble is superior because you taste everything at the, uh, at every or bite. No ketchup is the question that we need. Hot to really sauce. Hot, hot sauce. sauce. Hot okay. sauce. Yeah. I do hot sauce. I do hot sauce. Mm -hmm. Nice little Franks. Yeah. 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 No, oh, you know what? Fine. I'm on some other shit. Cholula. Cholula. I do Cholula. Like Cholula. Cholula's pretty good too. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's I love fucking Cholula. great. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. But if if I'm making them, if I'm making them an omelet, because I'm a lazy piece of shit, and like no, I'll still make a scramble. It's worth the time. 
But but like if I make them for my wife, she won't eat them any other way than scrambled. Because like I make the best. Somebody somebody's married to a bougie bitch. Yeah, she's a fucking cunt. Jesus. She's a stupid bitch, and I hate her. <laughs> I don't think she cares, Virgie. No, she don't doesn't. Worry, I got one too. <laughs> She's I am to... one too. <laughs> so beat that, guys. Beat that. Mine's at work. <laughs> she'll she'll come home and beat you. Yeah, later. she'll hit me. All right, let's do another love busters. Home sweet home. How did you manage the money so quickly? How did you manage the money so quickly? What money? You paid your debt, right? <laughs> of course not. But how? He will find you. You'll Tyler, this is my husband is a monster. Find you! Don't worry about that. An unknown man set fire to the garage of Richard Green. The, the garage? Not the garage of Richard Green. Richard Green is a pal of mine. The honor of the casino chain. The fire almost spread to the house. <clears throat> Firefighters are... The rich man is toasted. What have you done? Why do you worry so much about this, Richard? Hmm? Expensive dress, necklace? You think I, I, I don't understand what were you doing there? But now, the fun is over. Because your prince is dead! Is this another one where she was cheating on her husband and then she, the guy husband became a crazy arsonist? You know, stories all this time. <clears throat> like yeah, a story movie. Yeah, I was just about to say, I think the new Disney movie has that trope. Look, at least not a black princess this time. Yeah, yeah right? She's yeah. kind of brown, though. Yeah, that's true. She's mm. kind of brown. No, 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 I mean, it's a move on the color wheel in the right direction. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> We're turning the, the latest con one contrast like down. Arab or something. I don't know. <laughs> They already had an Arabian, the Jasmine. Didn't they have Jasmine? Yeah, they're coming uh, out with yeah. another one. The OG. Which is, which is so funny because they've literally had a princess of like every color but black, and they could sell every color but black. Princess <laughs> and the Frog. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know they had that. How much money did it make, Frozen? Oh, How many toys did you see in the store? Nobody watched it. Because people, they, they, they rebranded those dolls as color purple dolls for that new movie coming out. <laughs> which for she some reason, yeah, which for some reason has a lesbian relationship in it. Why? Same molds. Oh, fair enough. You pull the sticker <laughs> and it's got the fucking. You pull the color purple sticker off and it's got the princess and the frog underneath of it. Yeah, that's <laughs> Mommy, my Barbie's burnt. This is mine. This is really <laughs> Speaking of Barbies and horrific accidents, f I swear to God, for Christmas, like, we're like, fucking, they're opening up their presents and shit, and uh, my oldest opens up this Barbie that's in a fucking wheelchair. <laughs> and I looked at my wife, and was like, uh, and she looks at me and just goes, I swear to God, she's been asking for it for, like, two months. <laughs> like, what? It's okay. <laughs> so now my my daughter has a Barbie wheelchair. Why? I don't fucking know. Virgie, she's weird. <laughs> Virgie, Virgie, one day she's gonna ask you for an actual wheelchair. Virgie, it's it, it's it's for when she um reenacts the domestic violence in the home and oh. she can put the mommy oh, in a wheelchair. Go. There you go. That makes sense. She's, Yo, there's so many weird Barbies now. Like, she's got an amputee Barbie, and it's really what? funny. Yeah, she's got an amputee Barbie. Bro, and it comes what kind with... of hall of horrors are you running at your house? I I let her pick. You, you know, you can just you can make your own amputee Barbie. Yeah, any Barbie's yeah. an amputee Barbie if you have kitchen chairs. But but no, th that's really funny. This Barbie comes with like it comes with a prosthetic leg, right? I swear to God, little girls' toys are so fucked up, bro. Bro, they're so bro, fucked no, up now. Virgie, but why do you why do you have a bunch of invalid Barbies in your house? I know, but <laughs> it comes with it comes with a fucking with a prosthetic leg, and my fucking kids keep losing it. Virgie, are you, <laughs> Virgie, are, you are, are you raising a psychopath? 
I yeah, she's my daughter. But uh, <laughs> what's the other one I was just thinking of? There's the prosthetic. Oh, okay. So they have little girl like Lego sets now, right? Uh huh. And I I snagged her one for Christmas because it was fucking cheap or whatever. I just grabbed it off the shelf. I didn't look at it. It was just like oh friends, and they got like a little camper or whatever. It's cute. My daughter comes to me while she's building it, and she brings one of the little mini figs, and goes, "Um, this girl has no hand." <laughs> I was like, "What?" <laughs> and I look at the fucking the little Lego mini fig, and it doesn't have a hand. <laughs> It's a fucking, it's a fucking the little girl minifig had her hand amputated. Like, it's made that way. It's not like in the minifigs where you pull the hand out of the arm, like you can switch them. Like, it's one where the hand is part of the arm, and it just doesn't have a hand on it. So you it's have a, a freak dumb. show amount of dolls at your house that are all, like, have some sort of, some sort it's of ter funny... a terrible fucking factory accident. I I didn't get to the funniest one. The funniest one is they have like the the wide like the like the thick girl Barbies, right? Mm -hmm. Bro, and my fucking <laughs> my daughter comes with her Barbie car and the thick Barbie and is like, um, Daddy, my my Barbie doesn't fit in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Bad accident, Barbie. She's got third degree burns. Virgie's buying. Virgie's buying. Virgie's buying like defective Barbies out of some sort of auction, pretending that they're amputee Barbies. No, I, sw <laughs> I swear to God, they have amputee Barbies. Yeah, Virgie, tell me you shop at the outlet mall without telling yeah. me you shop at the outlet mall. Look, man, Ollie's has just as good fucking products as anywhere else, and they've got great deals. A good, well, shit, got great price. Her Barbie's got caught in the... Here you go. Fucking caught in the wood all chipper. No, Bad accident, Barbie. <laughs> Bro, does anybody else use Ollie's like a fucking library because their book section's the shit? Yeah, I do. Oh, I, I, fucking I, don't, I don't know what an Young Ollie's is. Young woman who's a bit. Oh, bro, next time you come up here, we're going to a fucking Ollie's. I don't know what Ollie's is. A young woman who's been a patient at a Massachusetts hospital all her life. Have you ever life, wanted like now. a pop tart that's like not in season, out of season? Go that's to pretty Ollie's. Cool. Life now wants to help us. Yeah, do you ever she want a pop tart it... that's out of season in a Paula Deen cookbook and also fucking <laughs> and also an iced coffee maker when they <laughs> first came out with them? <laughs> some, some Chinese dog toys. Yeah. <laughs> to help others. She made a donation of more than 400 Barbies to give to other young girls at that hospital. And as Hector Molina explains, these dolls are getting results. Hospice care, Barbie. <laughs> 18 year old, the, Chloe the one in red has like a lot of work done, but do you think she got like a chin implant? Do you think Let me that see. it's so strong? No, nah, she just might have a strong chin. She did got work done though, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. yeah, no, that's just a man job. Yeah. 18 year old Chloe Newman from Mechanicville, New York, has been receiving prosthetic services at Shriners What's Children's wrong with Hospital. Her knees? She's missing a leg, Virgie. Oh. Springfield for her entire life. She was born. Which is the real one. With a missing limb and has had multiple prostheses fittings at Shriners. It's not a bad one, though. Not a bad prosthetic, right? Once Chloe mm -hmm. and her family found out that Mattel has a line of Barbie dolls with prosthetic yep. legs. There's the one. <laughs> I swear to God, she has that. She wanted to it's... collect as many. damn it, Frigy. Look, it's got a prosthetic leg, and the leg comes off, too. It's the funniest part. It's not I in. just saw the picture of it, Virgie. God fucking damn it. So the prosthetic this leg more... shit's going too far. Yeah, the prosthetic leg has more so mobi links. has more mobility than the than the non one. I don't think the knee bends. I can't remember if it does. It's an extra extra point of action. I believe what they call it in the fig business. Many of them as possible to give back. To <laughs> if girls you who lift need it them. up, if you lift it up and put it at a ninety degree angle and hit the button on Barbie's back, it shoots the foot like a missile. You know, she was able to receive. They're, they're gonna have my mastectomy, Barbie. Oh God, trans Barbie. More than four hundred dolls it's in just donation. Skin with a Barbie head on him. That would be funny. <laughs> and the scars, the scars. Chins for the hospital. Damn it, they have a Ken version. What is he missing? His penis. All of them miss his penis. That's the same leg. Oh. 
that they would feel better about themselves, maybe. Or at least that's what I'm hoping. That they would see, oh, that's... They'd probably feel better if they had both legs. <laughs> really cool. They're making a Barbie like me. So, like, why should I be ashamed of myself if there's now... Nobody is shaming amputees. Like, is that a problem that I'm missing? Are people out there yelling at amputees be like, way to walk one leg? I don't think. <laughs> That's the standard you're holding yourself to? Is like what representation Barbies are holding these days? Yeah. Damn. Are, are people yeah. yelling at, at amputees and I'm not aware of it? Yeah, they stomp past them going left, right, yeah. left, right. Yeah. Oh, oh, left. What, oh, what left, are you, oh. some sort of pirate? <laughs> what was that Mitch Hedgeberg joke where he was like, I, I don't wave to people anymore because you don't know if that guy doesn't have a hand. You might look like a dickhead. That's true. Like, <laughs> Toys like me. Dr. Does Brock McConkie. Uh huh. Does your, does your daughter also want or have the Down syndrome Barbie? There's not a Down oh, syndrome. Oh, no, but if Barbie. I seen that, I'd buy it for her immediately. Is there a Down syndrome Barbie? Is there really There's a Down, Down syndrome, syndrome Barbie? Barbie. Yes. Yes. What is it? Just the there. bigger head? Do they mush two heads together? It, it does have a head difference, yes. Oh, I can't no. believe I'm looking this up right now. <laughs> I see. She's like, I'm getting I don't want I to get it. I cannot believe that this is going to be a real. I'm a Barbie girl. I like to eat crowns. The purple ones taste. The best is they do. The I'm a Barbie girl. Down syndrome. <laughs> <That's really laughs> <good. Okay. laughs> ah, look at her jaw. <laughs> There it is. My Barbie's retarded. <laughs> <laughs> it's defective. Oh, she's fuck. still a little too pretty. Yep. If you're wondering who's in control, just check you can't quit. Just check who you can't question. Stop giving disabled people control. You're in. She said in the chat. It really does look like they just took a lighter to the thing space and just like boop, and then took it off. Isn't this to this government official in Spain? to play with more inclusive dolls. Duh. I'm allowed to do it. It's a doll. It's not even a person. You can't even get mad at me. The I'm eyes a... aren't quite right. Yeah, neither is a Down syndrome person. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be a little bit more slope there, right, pros? Oh, God fuck. fucking damn it. <laughs> <laughs> we went from pickled herring to Down syndrome Barbies, boys. And girl. Mom told me this that they need to take me back to the factory like the Bobby. Doll is breaking barriers by creating the first fashion doll with Down syndrome. Yeah, what's your sales statistics? <laughs> but their survivability statistics. Who wants, to see, <laughs> who wants to see a Downs model? Oh, like, fuck. why are you, like, holding that to a beauty standard? It's ridiculous. Yeah, the only Look, there's the wheelchair same. one! There's the wheelchair one! <laughs> <laughs> The only, Bro, the box is so big. <laughs> the, the only, the only, well, first off, it's the only Barbie you could bend its knees, the wheelchair Barbie. But um, it, it, it's it, the only reason that there's a Down syndrome Barbie is because my little sonogram Barbie didn't come out first. <laughs> my little oh my sonogram? God. Well, you know, they have a blood test Barbie should have taken. Yeah, Barbie didn't Way take before it. the sonogram shows anything. <laughs> so she could have known. Uh, Barbie could have known. Barbie could have known. Allowing more Down children syndrome Barbie to... or not from Iceland Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> there's, no, there's no Down syndrome Barbies in Iceland. Hey, I'm, I'm looking at the different types of dis Barbies with disabilities, right? There's a vitiligo Barbie. Oh, there, I forgot about Alopecia. vitiligo Barbie. <laughs> It's an alopecia Barbie. Why? You yeah. could make your own vitiligo Barbie and alopecia Barbie. You just a marker, a, a marker and the scissors, and we're done. Let's go. Yeah, Wait. easy. Do they have pedophile Ken? I have some ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, this is Ken with a mustache. Is, oh, we don't have third degree Barbie. Uh, Lord Pepsi says, "Good morning, everyone. Have a beautiful, glorious day. Wave and well weekend. Thank you. King of all pixels is three fourths the price of amputee Barbie. Yeah, is amputee Barbie cheaper? No, it's not. Oh, none of them are cheaper. None so of them are they're... cheaper. You're telling me Down syndrome Barbie is not in the bargain bin Barbies? Well, no, it has an extra chromosome, so it's extra money. Mm. Future through fashion doll play and imagine what is possible. Mattel Barbie. <laughs> Come on, man. 
his parent company announced she has nice hair yeah yeah she has nice hair figures will soon be hitting store shelves the company took extra care to ensure they were properly representing the down syndrome community and when they look retarded enough they knew they nailed it <laughs> Down syndrome Barbie comes with a box of crowns. I'm gonna and a puppy eat. It squeezed too hard. I'm, and an extra chromosome. I'm gonna eat my Barbie. Like why do they just <laughs> hand her head? You huh? know what I mean? They do that for like wrestling figures. They should have just picked one and then scanned its head and then put it on there. Oh, that's a big head. Would have been more accurate, you know, fig. I bet she can't shop at lids either. Brought no. the doll with Down syndrome to life in close partnership with the National Down Syndrome Society. This They're not that close. I don't want to catch it or anything. <laughs> the, the, na the National Down Syndrome Society. Could you imagine what a black mass that that looks like? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. They're Gracious. all singing in Latin with their fat tongues. <laughs> we were able to ensure the doll and all the design elements and looks retarded. Details were an accurate representation of a person with Down syndrome. The six hey, is there a faggot Ken or like a sloppy party bottom Ken? Like a gay Ken? 64 year old doll brand says it uh, can I think Ken coming. comes gay. Oh, okay. From factory? Yeah. Medical yeah, professionals yeah. to get the, details the, 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 like. The, chat are, the chat's coming up with ideas for Barbies. OnlyFans Barbie. Uh, no daddy included. Oh, that's good. Yeah, how, how, go. Look, guys, let's pay attention to er, uh, Eric. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, Rick Moranicus over here. Jesus. <laughs> the doll's frame more accurately. Barbie with Down syndrome is shorter in height and has a longer torso than the rest. I'm the crayon. Are you the mouth? Oh my God! Did the you Barbie hear that? What? No. Did you hear that? Oh my God. She's shorter in height, but she has a longer torso. Good. Syndrome good, is good. shorter in height and has a longer torso than. Than the rest of the Barbie lineup. Even the doll's jewelry has special meaning. Three it's sweet tarts. Three chevrons on Barbie's necklace is well, a symbol known as parts. the lucky few. I wouldn't consider you being lucky. Oh my god, they have it a have shorter lifespan. It has leg braces. Yeah, they have leg braces. For their chicken feet. For their little chicken feet. Come on. <laughs> They have little chicken feet. Okay, leave them alone. It represents the 21st chromosome, which is... Which is the funny one, apparently. The 21st chromosome really is the funny bone of it the genome. It is the funniest chromosome there is. It's the genetic marker of a person with Down syndrome. And we're dedicated to combating social stigma and enabling... So are we. We're treating them like anybody else. All children to see themselves in Barbie, as well as have a Barbie that reflects the world around them. Check, Royce, check show links. Lee didn't oh, well wanted to fix it. Did he I fix it? Did he, he fix it? Did he fix it? No, it's fucking perfect. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, no, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Are you happy now, Jess? Is you happy now? Are the eyes fine now? Yeah. <laughs> See, if they're going to be represented, they should be accurately represented. That's all I'm saying. Okay, good job. <laughs> so stupid. It's great. Oh, fuck. I cannot believe these are real. This is so stupid. I swear, you should have seen the look on my face when fucking my kids were unwrapping their presents. <laughs> it's fucking girl pulled out a goddamn wheelchair. Barbie. Alopecia in children. Take a look. And my wife just put my her hands up and goes, no look, hair I know. Anywhere. She's been asking for it. <laughs> and while he is completely healthy and there's nothing wrong with him. There's something wrong with him. look like there's nothing wrong with him. My. What? He's going to fight Superman when he grows up. What's the big fucking problem? It's an honorable position. Yeah. My family has been affected by the autoimmune disease alopecia. It causes hair loss. That's just a little Andrew Tate. What's the big deal? Dominate. <laughs> <sighs> he slaps my yeah. Monkey bars are feminine. Mo <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Mother, give me some bottled water. In a bottle. In a bottle of bottled water, mother. <laughs> Where's my Hot Wheels Bugatti? <laughs> His fucking cozy coop has spinners. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> having a bedtime is feminine, mother. I will not be having it. had just turned one. I saw these strange cloud-like bald spots. I went to the dermatologist and I walked in with my son. He said, yep, it's outpatient. And my heart just about sank. He said, you know, there are shots if you... And wigs. You, you know, she like, takes pride in her appearance and you know it probably like sticks her a That's what it is. That's what it is. I've never understood the bald. Being bald isn't that bad. I don't really get the problem yeah. that people no. have with it. The first thought in her head was what all of her Christmas cards were going to look like. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be fair. There was a kid in high school that had alopecia and we kept thinking he had cancer. Come on, Frozen. That's what it looks like. Shots, you know. I'm See, not Frozen, this is why I don't mind picking on you because I know you were a piece of shit back in the day. You picked that him. You picked that him, didn't you? Of it. you do now keep, we act you. all innocent. Yeah. Will you give me a no, you, you, you call them look. chemo, Chris? Is that what you did? <laughs> Uh, we, huh? we used to have we used to have this girl that we picked on that we pretended she was deaf. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> but why did you do that? Because it was really fucking funny. Oh, that's fair. Uh, <laughs> I would just yell at her everything. Sorry, I thought you couldn't hear. Shots. I barely wanted to put a cream on him. So we did a little bit work. His hair had all come back. So I was like, okay, phew. And then... Phew, he's not going to be an embarrassment. At Christmas two, card, they're, yep. they're going to look great. <laughs> I look down, and I see a perfectly round quarter-inch bald spot. Can I ask you a question, ma'am? Did you even know what those injections were that you gave your kid? Do you think they were better off than him being bald? I always ask that mm-hmm. kind of stuff. Like, you think it was worse? I don't know. They're, maybe they are. Maybe they're safe. I have no idea. You know, but... She didn't look into it. Are you kidding me? Yeah. She absolutely right didn't. The top. I mean, it's probably the vaccines doing this shit. Yeah. Now, so. And I thought, oh, no. It's back. Within the next couple of months, he was losing his hair all over, and I was losing my mind. There was a particular morning that I went to his crib to pick him up, and it was like a mask. And he looked like a little Danny DeVito. <laughs> Aww. Exodus. He had hair. So anyways, mom, I just thought it (laughs) blasted. With his little Nerf gun. Mm -hmm. On his face, all over the crib. I was so shocked. And, you know. You're right. It's affect you the worst. You're looking at your baby. And he looks like a little old man. A little old Vigoda. Lots of babies don't have hair. And it, it doesn't look like your child within the next... Wait, 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 okay. hold on. Well, that's crazy. I'm sorry. I just cut my son's hair. He had hair longer than mine, and he, he still looks the same. Yeah, the face he is still the, same. the same. It's the same little kid. When I first decided to shave my head, Marie wasn't like, who's this crazy person in the house? I don't recognize him. You look the same. It's just the hair. Officers, there's a Cuban rapist in my house. Wait, whoa, whoa, why rapist? Why did you say rapist? <laughs> You know what she should have done? She put she should have put him in like a little gi and then been like, I adopted him from the monks. Yeah, you know? he's a little shallon yeah. kid. So cute. He's going through a Harry Krishna phase. Uh-huh. Yeah. You you joke about shallon kids, Royce. I had my head shaved when I was like I say ten. Yes. All the kids called me Buddha. That's great. <laughs> it's because of the ears too. Yeah, I was gonna say that was not because of the haircut, it was the ears. All right, let's go back to the last hairbender. His eyelashes <laughs> and his eyebrows fell out. I remember. Hey, Ma. <laughs> hey, Ma, get me a cigarette. Eyebrows fell out. That's I that's remember that. the very last eyelash that he had. I mourned. But that little eyelash. Because. I hated the movie Powder. It was a. Ma'am, your son has an autoimmune dif- for- disorder because you had a child at 47. <laughs> and he 
he's oh, still so alive. He's just bald. He's That's still there. Point. He's still they there. posted the picture like he died. You're right. Like this photo here. He's alive. <laughs> they didn't even have him there. You little bald kid. That's weird. Rest in hairless pieces. Yeah. You know? it's hair loss. He was one years old and he got sick. High fever. And get him um, into Olympic swimming. That pants do. Oh, he'd be he a fantastic swimmer, virus, actually. Penicillin, and eventually his hair started to fall out. It's brought on by stress, they think. Um, I wonder why he's what? stressed. I wonder Biological what, stress? I wonder what in his life is a stress point. Yeah, oh. most people don't develop alopecia when they're children. Also, alopecia is one of those fucking... That shit's retarded. 90% of people who are like, I have alopecia. No, you have anxiety. Stop pulling your fucking hair out, you weirdo. That's what happened to me. No, it was male pattern baldness. Guys, <laughs> thank you so much for listening. I can't believe the show's over. That was a lot of fun. Uh, let's get the plugs out. JJ, you next? Oh, yeah. We're going to have some fun. Uh, let's see, Jess, are you and John streaming tonight, or is John streaming tonight? John is streaming tonight, The Incredible Sulk, and yeah. I'll be streaming this weekend, um, Couch Turfing. Boom. You can follow me on Twitter, y'all. Now that you got a hundred subs on Rumble, I guess hey, I have to yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. everybody. That is so nice. Yeah, fuck that OnlyFans whore. Yeah. Fuck that <laughs> stupid bitch. I hope she's seething right now. Yeah, uh, she is. She blocked me, so. Hey, I'll see you, Virgie, in a little bit. Four hours. Yep. Yep. And, uh... Yep. Frozen? Yes. You're a handsome man and I love you. Aww. Not! <laughs> there it is. Love you all. Bye. Shut up. <laughs>